Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post about skincare products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I write in-depth skincare reviews, for which the link will be down below. In this video, I'll be talking hyaluronic acid and showing you some swatches of hyaluronic acid products from different brands. But before we continue, if you could please give this video a big old thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you would like to support the channel on Patreon, there are many perks and benefits such as voting on various polls including YouTube video topics and skincare review polls. You can also be part of the Patreon community, where you get to exclusively see new products I've gotten and hear my early first impressions. I have a lot more perks I am planning on adding in the future. I'll leave the link down below. Now, let's get on with the video. First of all, what is hyaluronic acid? It's a humectant or a hydrator which decreases in the skin as we age. It is able to hold over a thousand times its weight in water which makes it good at plumping out fine lines. It works to increase the water content of the skin and is typically used to tackle dehydration. Additionally, hyaluronic acid can be used before the treatment stage of your skincare routine to allow any products applied afterwards to be absorbed more effectively. Hence why hyaluronic acid is often included in toners or in essences, which are basically the same thing. But hyaluronic acid can also be included in serums themselves to help draw the treatment into the skin. Hyaluronic acid is typically applied onto damp skin as it is seen more effective to do so, to draw the water into the skin instead of pulling water from the skin and enables the hyaluronic acid to absorb better. Apparently pure hyaluronic acid, so not in its salt form, is an antioxidant that can help with skin healing and ease inflammation. However, hyaluronic acid itself, when applied topically, is too big to penetrate through the skin's dermis. Therefore, the salt of hyaluronic acid, which is sodium hyaluronate, and smaller molecular weights are able to penetrate into the subdermal layers of the skin, hydrating the dermis. And that is why it is good to have different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid in your serum if you want to penetrate both the top, middle and inner layers of the skin. The larger molecules remain on top of the skin forming a barrier to help prevent transepidermal water loss and keep the skin hydrated. And now on to the hyaluronic acid products. These products all contain different amounts of different molecular structures of hyaluronic acid at varying price points so that you can decide which one would suit you and your skin needs the best. And of note, all of these products do not contain added fragrance or essential oils. First up is from a brand everyone knows, Hardalabo, and this is their Gokujin Premium Lotion. This is an upgraded version of the regular Hardalabo Gokujin Lotion, which I have reviewed. The original contains three forms of hyaluronic acid, whereas this contains five forms. The Premium Lotion contains absorbent hyaluronic acid and 3D hyaluronic acid, which provide more hydration and also contains urea, a humectant, as well as additional humectants to draw in moisture into the skin and really tackle not only dehydrated skins, but dry skins too. When swatching, this does have a rich texture. It reminds me of the Dear Claire Supple Preparation Toner and is quite gloopy, but doesn't ball up or pill on the skin. It spreads very far and also absorbs really well into the skin. I do like the regular Hadalabo lotion, but in terms of the wearability and texture, I actually prefer this premium lotion. I find that it sits better under other skincare products. Next up is the Niod Multimolecular Hyaluronic Complex. In terms of the efficiency to hydrate the skin, this does take the cake. And that's because this contains 15 forms of hyaluronic compounds and hyaluronic precursors, as well as peptides to boost the humectant potential of the product. It is a water-based hydrating serum that helps the skin look plump 
and it also helps restore elasticity. The difference between this product, Niod State, is that although this does contain sodium salt forms of hyaluronic acid, the formula itself includes 1% of direct hyaluronic acid, which appears in the ingredients as hyaluronic acid. Although I believe the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum also contains pure hyaluronic acid. However, I don't know at what percentage. They do state 2%, but this does also include the sodium hyaluronate percentage. This contains 15 multi-molecular forms of hyaluronic acid, with different weights to sit on top of, within, and deep within the skin. It also contains many humectants to draw water into the skin. When applied topically, pure hyaluronic acid sits on top of the skin. So, the direct form of hyaluronic acid apparently offers pro-repair support beyond just acting like a humectant, as sodium hyaluronate does, which means this 1% hyaluronic acid improves the elastic appearance of the skin instead of simply plumping it up with water. Although this doesn't contain matrixol like the Inculus does, this does contain many peptides and other humectants. So this really does try to cover all the bases in terms of dehydration and dry skin. And as you can see from the swatch, this is very lightweight. It has a slight yellow tinge to it, which is fine. And although this doesn't contain additional fragrance, the product itself just smells. It smells a bit like cheese. This product layers really well under and on top of other products. It absorbs really well and it absolutely does hydrate the skin. Of course, for dry skins, you would want to layer another product on top as this is very thin but I think oily skins would appreciate this and those who like a lightweight texture. There's no stickiness or tackiness and as you can see the product dries down. My skin feels hydrated. The next product is from Open Formula, which is the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturising Serum. If you would like to see the other products from Open Formula I have swatched and want to know my first impressions, then please check out my previous video. I believe it's called a moisturizer because Open Formula are pretty proud of the fact that this delivers sustained hydration to the skin without the use of any oils, which moisturizers usually contain. And this is meant to be used like a moisturizer, i.e. the directions don't instruct you to apply anything on after this, whereas usually hyaluronic acid Serums usually indicate a moisturizer would be beneficial to apply on top. This contains only 7 ingredients, 0.25% hyaluronic acid, as well as humectants like propylene glycol and seaweed extract, which adds minerals and amino acids. I must say that the hyaluronic acid used in here is the salt form, so sodium hyaluronate which means that only one single form of hyaluronic acid is in this serum. Which isn't an inherently bad thing, it will still hydrate the skin, but perhaps not penetrate as deeply as something like the Niod MMHC would or the Gokujin Premium Lotion. So I would say this is a dupe for the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and judging from the texture, it looks very similar. This is stated to be suitable for sensitive skins and both oily and dry skins, which I agree with. You can see it's a little bit thick, but it's not sticky and it didn't ball up. I don't get any harsh smells from this either. This rubs into the skin fine and dries down adequately as well. I didn't feel any stinging or irritation and the skin does feel supple. The final product is from the Inky List. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum the Inculus states that this has three molecular weights of hyaluronic acid, but when looking at the ingredients list, I only see sodium hyaluronate and hyaluronic acid. So this might sit on top of and in the medium layer of the skin. So this wouldn't penetrate the skin as deeply as the premium lotion or the MMHC, but would be adequate enough to hydrate the skin, as this also contains other humectants like tripeptides, glycerin, and butylene glycol. As you can see from the swatch, this is a bit thick, but not too heavy. It still runs down my hand. I don't get any strong smells from this, and it's also easy to massage into the skin. Look how wet and watery my hand looks. But this does also efficiently dry down. I really like the Inky List packaging for their serums. It's very useful to have a flip cap. This didn't seem to ball up or pill either, which is a common problem I have with The Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. 
Once again, after drying down, you can see that the product has absorbed into the skin and my skin feels supple. Judging the overall efficacy of each product, I would say that the Niod MMHC is the most efficient at hydrating the skin. However, as it's so expensive, I think a good second would be the Hardalabo Premium Lotion. But I don't think the Inky List or the Open Formula have terrible products. I think these are hydrating and I have no problem using them. It just depends on how much penetration you want into the skin. If you're looking for surface level hydration, then the Inky List and Open Formula would be absolutely just as adequate as the MMHC and the Hardalabo. And these all have different uses. The Open Formula is to be used like a moisturiser, so it should sit on top of the skin. The Inky List is meant to be used just before a treatment. The MMHC can be used before or after treatment. And the Hardalabo is to prep the skin for treatment or to be used as treatment itself. So I hope you were able to find what product would suit you the best. Let me know down below which hyaluronic acid serum is your favourite and if you have tried any of these. And subscribe today for future content. Bye!